Hey guys, this is Ray from the Great Falls Public Library, and this is story time. It's for preschoolers two and a half to five. So pause the video, go grab a couple of wooden spoons. We're gonna use these for rhythm sticks. And let's get started. Let's sing, hi, hello, how are you? All of these songs today, um, as usual, come from Jayberry. Check them out. Here we go. Hi, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, how are you? How are you today? One more time. Hi, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, how are you? How are you today? Good job. All right, can you put your hands together like this? So this is kind of a, this is a baby sign for fish. See, we're making a fish out of our hands and swimming back and forth, but we can just take one hand and this, at least to the best of my knowledge, is the ASL sign. All right, here we go. We are going to do some counting. We're going to start with a one little red fish. Here we go. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Good job. All right, now we have two little blue fish. Here we go. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Good job. Right. Three little green fish. Here we go. Three little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Good job. Four little purple fish. Here we go. Four little purple fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little purple fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Good job. All right. So now we have five fish. How about orange? Do you like orange? Here we go. Five little orange fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little orange fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Good job. So we counted to five, but you can keep going. And maybe you have a favorite color that we didn't sing about yet. So go ahead and pause it. We're going to six fish. They can be whatever color you want. All right, grab your sticks. We're gonna do a little counting. It goes like this. Oh, this is the tune of the wheels on the bus. That's super fun. Do you know that song? You could sing that song later too. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. All right, can you tick tock your six back and forth like this? Yes. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My oh my, it's a bunny rabbit. Show me your bunny ears. Good job, guys. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My oh my. It's a walrus. Show me your walrus tusks. Don't stick them in your mouth and don't stick them in your nose either. Ew. Here we go. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My oh my, it's a duck. Show me your duck bill. Quack, 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 quack. Good job. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a kitty. Show me your whiskers. Meow. Good job. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a unicorn. Show me your unicorn horn. Good job. 
Good job. Last one. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's an alien. Show me your antenna. Awesome work, guys. Good job. Give yourselves a tap of applause. All right. So before we put our sticks away, can you tap them high up over your head? Good job. Can you tap them low down by the ground? Good. Can you tap them to one side? Good. And the other side? And behind your back? Good job. And stop. Good job. Let's put them away. Let's read this lovely book, Lost in the Library, a story of patience and fortitude. All right. So who is this again? Is that an elephant? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's a lion. So the New York City Public Library has these beautiful giant lion sculptures outside, and their names are patience and fortitude. So this is a story about what happens when patience the lion sneaks into the, into the library at night and then doesn't return in the morning and fortitude the lion has to go look for patience. Did you ever get lost in the library? And there's one of the lions sitting in front of this great big New York public public library. And here is the plinth, the pedestal for the other lion. The other lion is missing. Let's read it. Early one morning, while all New York slept, night was transforming to dawn. Silence filled all of Manhattan except fortitude awoke with a yawn. Patience, good morning, he said from his plinth, but patience was nowhere in sight. He entered the library's grand labyrinth where no one was watching last night. Fortitude never abandoned his post, but patience had not yet returned. As sunlight ascended across the East Coast, Fortitude grew quite concerned. How could he do this? He's never been late. Fortitude leapt on all fours. Lacking all patience, he just couldn't wait and he scampered through Astor Hall's doors. That's this part of the library is called Astor Hall. The ceiling was about 12 elephants tall. See, I knew there were gonna be elephants. And dozens of buffalo wide. Patients told stories of rooms like this hall, but it was a new world inside. I don't think Fortitude's ever been in the library before. Do you remember the very first time you visited the library? Our library doesn't look very much like this, but I still think it's pretty impressive. We have lots of books. Twisting and turning, he noticed some stairs. Patience might climb, he supposed. When reaching the top, he was caught unawares by a frolicsome statuette posed. Looking for someone, she asked with a grin. Fortitude nodded his head. Patience, my partner, my sidekick, my twin. I really must find him, he said. Look, he found this, this little girl. That's another statue. Do you think the statues talk at night? That's interesting. The next time you see one, maybe think about what they would say if they could talk. The Rose Main Reading Room, back to your right. He's, sometimes he's there, the girl stated. Fortitude thanked her and ran out of sight, hoping his buddy awaited. So he's going to look, he's going to look for patience. Over and under the tables and chairs, Fortitude looked high and low, searching the shelves on, on the walls up the stairs. Fortitude paced to and fro. After what felt like forever, he ceased. Patience just wasn't around. Fortitude heard someone's voice to the east and eagerly followed the sound. Who do you think he hears? Who's in the library at night when it, when the library's closed. Hmm. People in portraits that lined every wall whispered and gossiped away, so Fortitude roared out his loudest of all to turn their attention his way. You wanna roar with me? 
Roar! Good job. Has anyone noticed a lion like me? He's quiet and peaceful and sweet. He's asking the paintings. A grumpy old man said, no lion but thee. Now please go back out on the street. Well, that wasn't very nice. Exiting gloomily, Fortitude wandered back through the library's maze. Patience, dear patience, where are you? He pondered while thinking of happier days. He's getting sad, he can't find his friend. In the beginning, young Patience was shy, but Fortitude thought he was rude. Weeks and then months and then years traveled by, but eventually friendship ensued. Patience told stories of ducklings and moons, of wardrobes and buttons and fun. On cold snowy evenings or hot afternoons, Fortitude cherished each one. Where do you think Patience is getting all those great stories from? Rays from the sun had begun to creep in when water flew out from a sink. A little bronze lion said, gotcha, I win, and gave him a satisfied wink. The lion said, wait, you're not patient, oh no, the splash, it's a game that we play. Patience, asked Fortitude, where did he go? The sunrise is minutes away. You see this drinking fountain that's shaped like a lion? That's pretty cool. Today, haven't seen him, the lion confessed, but I wouldn't worry, old chap. Perhaps you require some help on your quest. I think what you need is a map. Fortitude scanned every atlas he could, that's a book of maps, before tossing each to the side. Only a library map would do, would do good. Eureka, a visitor's guide. It's a very big library that you need maps to get around. How many hundreds of rooms can exist? Reading the map, he was shocked. Fortitude dashed to the places he missed, except through the doors that were locked. This is a pretty cool picture. Let's turn it the other way. Ooh. Do you see Fortitude walking upside down here? I think he's right side up over here. He searched every floor from the first to the third. Patience just couldn't be found. Fortitude thought, I will not be deterred. What's on this floor labeled ground? Mm, what do you think he's going to find? Fortitude quickly crept through the, down the dark hall and into a jungle of joy with colorful pictures adorning each wall and books for each cat, girl, and boy. Where is he? This is the children's library. It's the kids' place. Fortitude proud past Sendik and Rylant and Yolan and Pickney and Bloom. Those are all authors. While keeping his footsteps impeccably silent, he heard something in the next room. What do you think he hears? Patience, said Fortitude. What are you doing? But Patience stood still as a, so as a stone. The sun's almost risen. The pigeons are cooing. You've got to get back on your throne. The fortitude pound patience. What's patience doing? Can you tell? He got caught reading. He got caught reading. Just one more paragraph, patience declared. Then something caught fortitude's eye. There lay the stories that patience had shared. The monkeys, the pebble, the pie. Mm. Do you know any of those stories? Patience, did you learn these stories for me? Fortitude asked, but he knew. Patience just nodded and said, well, you see, I love sharing stories with you. The lions returned to their guard on the street and nobody noticed they'd gone. Fortitude sat in his usual seat and slowly the day carried on. But something was missing, though patience was found. Fortitude still felt a need. Patience, he said, when there's no one around. Can we sneak in tonight and read? And that is the very end of that book. I hope that you liked it. I'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.